I'd like to introduce the concept of the panel tonight. It's going to be short dissertation, but I want you to think about this because I watched like you did yesterday and something hit me pretty hard. Only 90 days ago, uh, Pelosi went to Biden and said, Kevin O'Leary calls out CNN panel's double standards on Kamala and it gets intense. In this clip, Kevin O'Leary goes all in, bringing some sharp insights on politics and the economy that the CNN panel struggles to respond to. When it comes to business, O'Leary's success speaks for itself, and it's clear the others aren't quite on his level. He definitely doesn't hold back, and it almost feels like he's schooling the entire panel. Let's dive into this clip and break down what went down. I'll share my take along the way. You need to step aside and convince him to do so. He made the decision, and he did actually ask her, and we've now learned this, is she the right person to drive this home? He questioned that. He could have said, we need to run a process in order for me to make this move. But they decided not to. I don't know who they is. Was it Obama? Was it Pelosi? I don't care who it was. In stock picking, just listen to this analogy. And you may agree, you may not. 88% of managers, because of the world I live in, cannot beat the S&P year in, year out. So you give them $1,000, the S&P beats them. They can't pick stocks. This is the second time the Democratic Party has circumvented democracy and chose. That's not true. Yes, it is. If you're enjoying this content, don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps me out a ton. Had Bruce Springsteen too, hold on, hold and what on. happened to her? Kill, her? And now we've chosen. Yeah, I mean, Kevin, Hillary Clinton won a primary. Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. she won a primary. You may not nobody like could that compete that with her, primary. even Bernie Sanders. She, she won a primary. Okay, first of all, that's the first. So thing. did Kamala second, Harris win talked, a primary? Listen, we have talked about this before. What's wrong How with how many Democrats? Hold on, hold on a second. Let's talk about what matters to voters. Do you really think voters care about the intranecine primary? Yes. Process if you're a Democrat, you sure as hell care today. I know, that, I know that you are from Canada, but the primary process. <laughs> that's why it's I'm the perfect for this. I have no skin in the game. It's, not in, get a great president. it's no. not in the Constitution. The, the political parties can choose however they want to choose their nominee. Right. And as long as they meet the legal deadlines in the states where they are on the ballot, they can do it however they want. Yeah, I, I, just, they can I just want to be yes, transparent. Yes, yes, I was, I was born in Canada. December 2023 just, just hand yeah. Just to be transparent, have have right. I was it's born in Canada. It's a Democratic Party it's process, not a, not a Democratic No, no, but my kids were born and raised in Boston. All my investments in the United States. I want the president, whoever it is, to be a winner. You're describing something as undemocratic that has absolutely nothing to do with the Democratic and this is Kevin O'Leary recently shared some strong opinions about the political landscape on a recent panel, and his comments have definitely sparked some conversation. O'Leary highlighted what he views as the lack of public support for certain candidates, particularly pointing out Kamala Harris's trajectory from her run for president to her position as vice president. His perspective is that Harris didn't get the public's initial backing yet still ended up in a high-profile role, and O'Leary argues this decision bypasses the traditional process of democratic debate and selection. In addition, he drew some comparisons to the 2016 election, suggesting that Bernie Sanders might have stood a better chance against Trump than Clinton had he been given the same support. O'Leary also believes that Biden's nomination of Harris as vice president was more strategic than merit-based, viewing it as a means to maintain voter support in specific demographics. There's no doubt that these are strong opinions that have raised questions about the selection process in politics, and the debate over public versus strategic decision-making continues to be a hot topic. Let us know what you think about O'Leary's take, and if you agree or see it differently. Share your thoughts in the comments, and be sure to like and subscribe if you're interested in more discussions like this.